The following video is presented by the Computer History Archives Project. This is the big picture. An official television report to the nation from the United States Army. Now, to show you part of the big picture, here is Sergeant Stuart Queen. One of the problems which confronts any modern military organization is the problem of maintaining a proper balance of trained specialists among the troops. To train the specialists it needs, your Army maintains a number of service schools. Today we would like to show you a few of these schools in the U.S. zone of Germany, where men of the European command are learning everything from accounting to the care and training of war dogs. This is the town of Langres. Forty miles south of Munich, deep in the Bavarian Alps, Langres is one of Germany's most attractive cities. A few kilometers outside of this quiet town with its gentle old world charm is also the site of one of the largest, busiest, and most popular of the Usaror service schools, the QM school or quartermaster. It is the quartermaster corps which feeds and clothes the soldier. In a service comprising several million men and women, this in itself is a job of staggering proportions. So wide felt is the need for trained personnel in this field that the Usaror Quartermaster School numbers among its students members of practically every branch of the armed services from every part of the European theater. Millions to supply and thousands of different items to be supplied. The equipment for just one soldier represents hundreds of man hours of work. Even so, the quartermaster school at Langres, in addition to its regular quartermaster courses, also finds time to conduct what are known in the army as adjutant general courses. These are the stenographers, the personnel clerks, the men who make up the payrolls. This is a student group in the midst of one of their administrative laboratories where they begin putting into practice what they have been learning in the classroom. Nobody knows exactly how many documents must be tabulated and filed for each serviceman and his equipment, but it's a lot. As a result, there is probably no office machine, from typewriter to calculator, which does not have its place in the Army. And, of course, each machine requires not only an operator to run it, but also a man who knows what makes it run. Whether at war or at peace, the American Army today is a worldwide organization. The problem of supply is a big one and a continuing one. Another place where good food is important and appreciated is the dog branch of the Usaror Quartermaster School. Here are trained the war dogs, canny canines recruited from among the very best of European dogdom to serve with the American Army's most famous auxiliary. Thoroughbred or just plain dog, candidates are selected for brains and stamina, not family background. Although dogs have been used by armies from the beginning of military history, they first achieved their present honored status during World War II. Today, dogs are used to an increasing extent not only by military organizations, but also by police departments, and as excellent night watchmen for factories, stores, and warehouses. The War Dog School at Langres is co-educational. All students, whether human or canine, receive pretty much the same instruction. There are, to be sure, some problems that are peculiar to the four-footed enrollees.
they make a formidable fighting team. Now this is Sergeant Stuart Queen, inviting you to join us next week for another look at The Big Picture. The Big Picture is a weekly television report to the nation on the activities of the Army at home and overseas. Produced by the Signal Corps Pictorial Center. Presented by the U.S. Army in cooperation with this station.